today we are going to discuss how to clean the green way and why it's important to do so, not just for our physical and emotional health, but also for the health of our environment and our homes. Please welcome Holly Davis from Clean Fresh Living. Holly, thank you so much for showing us these. Thank you, Leanne. You, you've got some amazing information. I've been to your site, cleanfreshliving.com, and you've got some fabulous info. Well, thanks. Um, now, not only do you do that, you also blog on... Um, D Moms um, Daily. There you go. It's the D Magazine blog. Okay. We're going to talk about what? Surfaces? Well, we're going to talk about cleaning products because okay. when we use toxic cleaning products in our home, then right. we increase our chances for asthma by 30 to 50%. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding? No. Just from one spray? One spray once, once a week can increase it, can, can increase your risk by 30 to 50%. And I would imagine that most people who have asthma or feel like they've contracted asthma think it's the outside sources that are doing it. They do, but all too frequently, it's actually right there and they're breathing it in their own home. Wow. So or office, it's important to note that these things can all apply to the office as well. So okay. we have several things here. Our top offenders are commonly window cleaners and wood cleaners. So I use Windex everywhere. <gasps> no more. Oh no. We must banish it from the kingdom forever. Okay, because it's really, I mean, it's really unhealthy for me to... It is. Wow, it okay. Is. Because of the ammonia and other things, gas off. So. That means that once it's sprayed onto a surface, even hours after you leave, chemicals actually release into the air and then you can breathe it in. And now all the clean air that we've cleaned is dirty again. Right. Okay, so this is a natural glass and surface cleaner. It is, it's a great alternative. And I do like, both of these products are from Method. I do like these two products, although I don't use everything from Method, right. from that line. But you, um, you, would, you would endorse both of these? I would. I absolutely okay. do. That's why they're here. I know. I love this. <laughs> okay, so now how would we go about using it? Will we use these products differently than we use, say, what we're normally using? Well, you can use them the same. My only suggestion is, is that perhaps you use maybe sometimes newspaper or sales papers that you get and not use as much product. It, the ink in the newspaper actually will clean the glass really well wow. and it doesn't smear and smudge. Okay. And you want to use a lint-free towel instead of using paper towels, which are trees. We right. need to remember that they're trees. And the other thing is, is that I always suggest that we use things like microfiber towels. Okay. And these actually just clean the surface and the dust attaches itself to that. So we like that. So instead of spreading it into the air, it's actually right here. And then we can wash these on like the allergy cycle or something like that. All right, what else do you have here that you recommend? Well, if we're going down the do-it-yourself lane, okay. um, my go-to item is really vinegar. Really? It really is. Any, almost any place that you would use a chlorine bleach okay. or a bleach, you can replace it with vinegar. It's an antibacterial. Really? I did not know that. Yes. And it, it cleans fantastically in the bathroom, in the kitchen. I use it, I have it in a spray bottle. You just want to put just a little bit of vinegar okay. and then mix it with the rest with part water. water. Okay. Uh -huh. So what else can you use vinegar for besides a cleaning surface? I have three favorite things. Okay. One is in the laundry as a white brightener. Also, you can put it in a bowl and leave it in the kitchen or in the bathroom or a place where you want to freshen the air naturally. Air fresheners are one of the worst things that we can have in our home. I things that one. I, I, I do, right in my doorway. Well, we must throw it away. I, I'm not. gonna go home safely, and do that. Safely, because it will hurt the environment. So just pour this in a, in a bowl and set it on the counter. Absolutely, and if you want to, you can get um, maybe a nice lemon or something like that and slice it, squeeze some lemon juice in it and have a nice citrus. So fragrance. instead of pine salt, which is a chemical and harmful, you would have a natural lemon scent in your house. Absolutely, and I'm so glad that you said pine salt because actually pine yes. is very, very bad for you. It's, it's an irritant. I'm allergic to pine. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, it's really strong, and most people don't realize it. They think, oh, I smell that pine smell, and it's so clean. They it's, associate it with that. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. With all of these healthy cleaning products, are we getting our homes as clean as what we think that they are with the other stuff? Leanne, not only are we getting our house just as clean, if not cleaner, but we're also keeping ourselves clean. So from the inside out, from inside of our bodies to our surroundings, we're only as clean as our environment, mm, our bodies true. are. So what we do to our environment, we do to ourselves. Whatever touches our skin after 30 seconds enters our bloodstream. 
Whatever we inhale through our lungs enters our bloodstream. So we need to be careful about everything in our environment. You'll walk into your home and enjoy the fresh, clean air without the air being masked. Mm. You'll feel better and you'll live better. Thank you so much. I've learned so much today, Holly. Thank you, Leanne. So if you wanna make your home not only the cleanest place, but the healthiest place to be, make sure you go to Holly's website at cleanfreshliving.com. Thank you so much, Holly. This was Thank fabulous. You. Thank you, Leanne. I love it. Love lemons. being here. Yeah. Love What's up? <laughs>